Welcome to another video tutorial. I am very excited to introduce a web tool that is called IDEP. Actually, this IDEP web tool can be used for RNA-seq data analysis. So for a complete RNA-seq data analysis, we can use this IDEP web tool. So what we need to do, we need to simply upload a file here, but that should be filed in the format of CSV. So uh, we can upload our data in the, fam in the form of read counts, normalized expression value and FC value. So uh, let me show you uh, that data which I have received from the company. So this is the data which I have received from the company. So similarly, uh, you must also should have the data uh, for to go on with this RNA seq analysis. So it is although you can use anyone, you can use FPKM value or counts annotation. So uh, what we need to do? So we need to simply uh, uh, create a CSV file of this counts annotation data. So let me create a copy of this file so that our original file is not going to be disturbed. So uh, you can simply just open this and uh, you need to create like uh, this the first three samples are for first treatment and uh, that that is can also be called as control treatment and the next three samples should be for your uh, next treatment so uh, other than this there should be nothing so i am going to delete this all data so that it may not disturb our other analysis so if you have more treatments you can just simply uh, paste your all treatments here so uh, we should create a csv file so we can click on file we can go to export and we can click on change file type and similarly like csv file we can just simply save as so it will ask you to the save so we can save its name as uh, demo file for video So we, we can use this file for our RNSI data analysis. So uh, we can just simply upload now this file. This file is already created now. So we can go back to our web tool. So this is web tool. So before going to into the upload of expression data, we should select our species. Because in my case, the species is Oriza sativa. So we can select Oriza sativa yeah we can select oriza sativa indica group and we can click on browse and uh, can go to the desktop where i have saved that file uh, like this rna sick data yeah here that is our file which we have just created their csv file so we can double click on this that file will be started to upload here so we can see that uh, you should have a good internet connection so that it can uh, just upload your file easily. So it will not take much of your time. So we can see that uh, file is uploading is complete. So now it is reading and pre-processing the data. So it will just take few seconds. So uh, let me introduce you this uh, web tool. Actually, this web tool is already uh, published in BMC Bioinformatics and it has already integrated 63 packages of R language. So uh, going back to our data, so we have, uh, we can see that our list is already uploaded here. So here, uh, mutant type one, two, three, this is the control and the wild type, all the read counts data have been uploaded. So now we can go and select our pre-process and check our selection criteria. So we can simply click on pre-process. So uh, although you can uh, select according to your own choice, you can design your X axis and Y axis, but I don't recommend these all to change. You can simply just leave them as such or by default. And uh, yeah, here we can see that this, uh, this is the number of total read counts in mutant type and the wild type. So you can also change if you want and if you have more treatments, you can simply click here and you want to compare one by one, you can also do that. But uh, let's now uh, go to the heat map, how we can generate heat map of rna seq data. We can simply click on this tab of heat map 
and uh, we can also select the distance through correlation and average we can also change the color we can see that here a beautiful heat map graph is shown so in this color are also uh, visible like here uh, the red color is of mutant type and this color is for uh, wild type so we can change and we can also change them to normalized expression center sample and we can also uh, get interactive heat map like we can simply click on interactive heat map so when you will click yeah we can see that now the uh, heat map is shown with their with their gene ids so if you want to simply uh, download you can just click here a high resolution figure will be downloaded so uh, while moving to uh, next i can you can also uh, check the correlation matrix it is simply yeah uh, this is the correlation between and among the sample you can also download the this data in the form of table or you can also download this file in the form of figures uh, you can also download this information in the form of tree that how they are different and uh, now the important and the first actual step of the RNA sequence analysis actually start from PCA that is principal component analysis so K means you can also uh, leave this step as as such you don't need to change these uh, selection criteria you can uh, leave it leave it as such to the default it is just creating a heat map yeah this is for the first three belongs to mutant mm, mutant type and the next three belongs to wild type actually here each lines mean one gene so we can see that they have created the different cluster like a b and d and they have also uh, assigned the different pathways according to their gene ontologies so now we can move to uh, the next that is pca this that is principal component analysis you can also change from pathway database like now it is showing for go you can also change it to all available gene data set that includes all these three functions which i have already covered in the previous video if you haven't watched that please go into the video description and you can uh, watch that video so uh, while moving to the first formal analysis of RNA-seq analysis you can simply click on PCA so actually this is the principal component analysis we can see that uh, this is the PC1 uh, which is showing 52% variance um, among the sample and within the sample is within sample variance is 24% we can see that these two samples biological repeats were closer relatively than this so you can also change your y axis and x axis if you need but I usually don't recommend to change so you can also change uh, its uh, methods for representation like you can also use multi-dimensional scaling you can also use TSNE you can also use pathway analysis for PCA rotations anyone you like you can and you can simply uh, download a high resolution figure if you need so while moving to differential expression of uh, gene level 1 and level 2 actually there are two levels of differential expression uh, of genes so it is recommended to use DEGs2 but here I will show you the DEGs1 as well because here the method and the FDR cutoff values are also mentioned so you can also create vein diagrams through this so we can see that the differential expression of genes 1 level 1 shows that number of down regulated genes in the mutant type were 978 and uh, wild type versus mutant type the number of up regulated genes were 1587 so this one we can see him here we can also generate the vein diagram if you need we can also download this figure so uh, we can also change this method but it is recommended to use des 2 and now uh, we can switch to differential expression of genes level 2 uh, here is the different DEGs level 2 yeah, we can see that now uh, this is the direction down regulated and up regulated gene with their all gene IDs and uh, it is the adjusted p values this is the number of genes uh, that belongs to each pathway so we can from here switch to 
all gene databases and now uh, DEGs can be represented often you have seen that this data is presented in the reports in the form of volcano like we can click here on the volcano yeah this uh, this figure you have often seen in the RNA seq data analysis you can simply just click here to download and uh, you can also present this data in the form of MA plot yeah like this yeah this is the MA plot you can also save this for your use you can also present DEG's level 2 data in the form of uh, this scatter plot so it is up to you whatever you want to use you can simply use one and uh, you can also use transcription factor binding motives in the promoter but for this uh, you have to you need to give some extra details so i i am going to skip this you can also uh, download this genes uh, if you want in the their list so now we can move on to uh, pathways if we talk about pathways we can also select that uh, CAG pathways to show go, go biological process or cellular components or molecular function. I often select here the all database, but you can also do by uh, one by one. So uh, you have often seen that in many transcriptome um, research paper, it is up to the authors how they how they are going to verify their results. So uh, we can also uh, select like pathway significance and we can also uh, check number of top pathways to show here uh, it is by default number is 30 you can change it to 10 as well it is up to you how you how you make them so here we can see that now uh, from here we can uh, select the gig analysis chromosome protein complex nucleosome dna packaging whatever you want you can simply just click here and you can generate your heat map in the form of and you can also uh, make it make a pathway tree but just by clicking on this this is the pathway tree and you can also present them in the form of tables so uh, this one you can change this one you can compare according to your own choice and but if you have more treatments you can simply uh, select because at a time you have to compare two treatments at least so if you have more treatments you can simply uh, select from here that which two treatments you are going to compare and uh, finally you can download a pathway list of genes uh, which is up to you either you want or not so now uh, while moving to the genome so we can also integrate all of these up and down regulated genes to the genome on their respective chromosome number so when we will click on this uh, genome we can see that as rice has 12 chromosome and uh, it is clear from the picture that uh, number of all the genes on that uh, chromosomes 12 were mostly up regulated because here we can see that all are red uh, dots each dot mean one gene so and but other genes have down and uh, uh, up regulated mixed so you can also change your cutoff criteria and filter criteria but uh, again i will say this i don't recommend to change and you can also present these results of pathway in the form of by cluster so when uh, you will click on the by cluster you can our heat map will also be visible and if you want for like the um, biological process cellular components or if you want for all genes it is up to you so while moving to the network you can also create a network diagram using wgcna so this is the network diagram showing we can see that this is gene dendrogram and modules so we can see the important uh, number of uh, genes and their network uh, how they are regulating your phenotype so that's all. Uh, hope so you have liked the video. And if you have still any question in the creation of uh, data set or how if you face any problem in the uploading of uh, data into this website. So please let me know in the comments. And if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.